Good morning, Philippines. Well, I received this a couple of days ago from uh, YouTube and from Google. It says, we're happy to report all channels incorrectly removed for spam and deceptive practices have been fully reinstated. This includes access to all subscriptions, YouTube TV, YouTube Premium, and YouTube Music. We are working on reinstating the last few videos. Thanks for bearing with us. We know this is was a frustrating experience. Really appreciate your patience while we sort this out. If you're still experiencing issues, please don't hesitate to reach out. Well, what does all this mean? A little bit different format today, but I thought I'd let you know that uh, there's two deadly combinations in life that can cause anyone grief, and that is boredom combined with envy. Recently, not only my channel, but myself and my projects have all come under attack. And if you haven't been receiving updates, um, that's probably the reason why um, we've had complaints in the barangay about my workers. I've had my tires slashed and uh, I'm kind of concerned uh, for the safety of my kids. Um, and these are my neighbors. And these are guys on YouTube who I guess I'm becoming perilously close to a thousand subscribers and may decide to stick around. And I do critique uh, other bloggers for some of their attitudes and behaviors. And I don't apologize for that. It's up to them to address the issues. You can see that in my past uh, posts. So... If you haven't been receiving my uh, videos as of late, that's probably the reason why. It's funny because right after I got that notice, the number of subscribers started to increase once more. So we're getting close to a thousand. We're at 916 this morning, but we dropped down to 909. And I appreciate all new folks who are coming on board. But yeah, boredom and envy, they're, they're a deadly combination. And you see a lot of that coming around. Um, maybe that's why some people make their channels the way they are, where they just spend full time attacking other bloggers. But I try, we try to provide you with something different, unusual, and a different perspective of the Philippines. I have responsibility, I have children and family to support. So. Um, I'm not uh, one looking to create enemies, but they seem to find me on their own when they do step out of line. I'll point out to them, and I'll also point out the the, uh, the good guys, like uh, James DeBerry, who is building a home right now, and uh, you can follow him. I'll give you the link um, and the construction videos that we do. But, yeah, and... The whole uh, boredom and envy thing is um, probably in large part due to the elevated unemployment still here in the Philippines. It's gone on for decades and it's getting better. But hopefully when people get busy, they'll have less time on their hands to be envious of other people. So, but I don't compete with anybody except myself and that frustrates a lot of people who want me to give them attention. And sorry, that ain't going to happen. I got a lot to do here with family and uh, my projects. And uh, you know, while I've got your attention, if you're, if you're a Pinoy Filipino with a decent property that I can develop, um, I'm trying to build, um, I guess you could call it a super home, uh, it's a passive uh, uh, temperature gain, uh, controlled through its design, um, self-sufficient, strong enough to withstand earthquakes and typhoons. And you'll see that in my construction videos. That that's what we're trying to attain here. So that uh, these are forever homes that won't fall apart in 25, 30 years. So... Uh, if you have some decent land potential, and these these houses initially will, their design will be of a Western uh, component. In other words, uh, the, it may be overbuilt for a lot of Filipinos because uh, not only their design and their costs in construction for the materials, but also 
uh, the layout is bigger and uh, more uh, opulent than you're used to here in the Philippines in a number of cases, except if you were like in some luxurious condo in IT Park or BGC. You're not going to get that much in the single family homes. So this is the first one. This is the test one that we're doing right now. It'll have solar, it'll have water filtration. It'll be fully housed, air conditioned, self-sufficient with additional power for blackouts and uh, emergencies for the community. That's the intention. So stay tuned and uh, welcome back if you're suddenly getting my uh, videos again. It wasn't me, it was other parties who, I guess, initiated complaints or concerns. So have yourself a great day and we'll talk to you on a regular uh, post for the construction coming this weekend. It'll be week, uh, what, 30? We're getting there. Okay, bye-bye.